Welcome to the Picture Park How To series. Today's topic the batch edit mode within Picture Park. What I will now do, I will edit multiple objects at the same time within Picture Park and I will show you how easy that can be done. Before that, I will simply search for some assets. I will simply use the expression Vienna, for example, search for assets, and as you can see, I now see here multiple objects where the information, the metadata tag, Vienna is somewhere included within the full text, within the metadata fields, within the XMP data. What I can now do, I simply multi-select the objects. I can do that with all objects. Right click and click on edit, or up here, I can also use the edit function. As soon as I do that, the batch editor will open up and I will have all metadata fields available which are activated on the server and I can edit. I will now edit the description in English. Of course, I only see the metadata fields in here which I have available. That means there can be also different user groups with different sort of permissions on metadata fields. In the batch editor, I can change the metadata, I can assign the assets to different categories, change the rights for all the assets at the same time, or do that also for the formats. What I now see in here is the metadata which is already included or which was already included when somebody uploaded the file. What I can now do, I can replace basically that information uh, with a certain expression I'm now putting in. I can also insert at a certain position additional information it's very flexible. I can do that anywhere, basically, or I can search and replace a certain information. This is a function which you might know from Microsoft Word or from Office products where you can search and replace a special term. What I will now do, I will insert at a position Austria, which is the country, the Vienna is the capital. I will simply type in Austria and I will say from the right, that means where does it put it in that information and I click OK and as you can see the information was now put in at the end of the objects. What I could now do, I could search for example for the right information or I simply save that and as soon as I have saved that this information is now stored with the object. I can reset this search now and what I can now do, I can search for Austria and you will see that I will find now exactly the same objects. The little icon up here, XMP data, shows me that the information which I've just now put into the metadata field in Picture Park, this information is now being written into the XMP information of the file itself. And you can therefore make sure that even when your file leaves Picture Park, because you have downloaded it or sent it to somebody else, this information will still remain within the image itself. Many thanks for watching and enjoy the other videos of the How To series of Picture Park. Please don't hesitate to contact us at info at picturepark.com or www.picturepark.com. Many thanks for watching.